In this tutorial, we will learn about an easy method to create metals, like gold, silver, and copper. One setup that gives us many different metals. Let us start from the scratch, with a fresh new file. We will use a monkey for this tutorial, so delete this default cube, and add a monkey from the add menu. Metals look better with a smooth surface. So, to make it smooth, go to the modifiers tab, and add a subdivision surface modifier. Increase the levels to 4, or maybe 5. Now, to convert this monkey into gold, go to the materials tab. Create a new material. By default, we have a principal BSDF shader. Change this base color to something between yellow and orange. To fine-tune this color, switch over to the hex tab. You can type the exact hex color code for gold, which is FFC125. And hit enter. To see the color effect, turn on the rendered view mode. We need to make few more changes on this, but before that, we need to take care of the lighting in our scene. Either use a very powerful light, or even better, click on this little drop-down and disable this scene world option, so that Blender uses the default HDRI lighting. Now back to our material, increase this metallic property all the way up to 1. And also change this roughness value to 0.2. Then go to the Render Properties tab, and enable the Screen Space Reflections. Then expand it. Disable the Half Resolution Trace, and change the Max Roughness Value, to 0.2. This gives us a nice gold material. This is an EV, and you will get even better result if you use Cycles. Now, if you want it to shine more, you can turn on the Bloom effect, and adjust the Bloom properties. It will create a glow or a shining effect which you may want to use in some cases, like in a game design. But if you are after photorealism, I suggest not to use this fancy effect, rather keep it more realistic. One more important thing. If you are working with metals like this, an appropriate lighting is very important. If you now render this scene as it is, it will render without the HDRI lighting, like this. The object now looks very dull and dark. That is because the setup we have done here, is just for the viewport, and it is temporary. In order to use such an HDRI environment in your render output, you need to modify the world background. I have created another quick and complete tutorial, on how to use HDRI environment. The link is in the video description. So, let us now convert it into silver. For that, go to the materials tab, and change this base color to silver color. Like before, you can directly enter the hex color code for silver, which is C0Z0C0. That gives us a very nice silver material. You can of course play further with the shading part. And if you want to change it to copper, that is also easy. Again, just change this base color, to the hex color code for copper, which is B87333. We can see a realistic copper material. I don't know about you, but I think copper is the most beautiful metal, and also very useful. We can also convert this into bronze, easily. Here, enter the hex value for the color as C, D, 7, F, 3, 2. This is called commercial bronze, which is actually very similar to copper. There is another bronze color for archaeological materials. For that, use the hex value C, 3, 8, 5, double zero. It gives the look of an old and historical object, like an Egyptian statue. That's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.